generations. Let's of talk your about this this cameo. I mean, this uh, Cody Rhodes thing right here. Not cameo Rhodes, Cody Rhodes. All right, listen. It is Ow. mostly for you blokes in YouTube that don't know. Can I say ass, Dom? You don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. Listen. Yeesh. It's not a work. It's not a gimmick. Cody Rhodes has left AEW. And if I had to make a prediction, I would expect that you're going to see Cody Rhodes in WWE very, very soon. Now, here's the story. If you notice yesterday, I uh, I didn't have my best show yesterday because this Cody Rhodes, I'll give you as much of the details as I can. Cody Rhodes, uh, his deal was up, and he was basically a free agent. And the story was, well, you know, he was unavailable. He actually had a, a personal issue and could not be at an episode of, uh, of Dynamite or Rampage or whatever in early January. And the story was, well, you know, that's why he hasn't re-signed yet, but he's going to show up, you know, the next time he's there and he's going to sign this contract. Well, he didn't sign the contract. And they have actually had lawyers involved for a week now. I think it was last Wednesday the lawyers started to get involved. And uh, they've been involved ever since. And uh, so yesterday, yesterday at some point in the morning, I was, I was given this, this uh, a very, I mean, this is as vague as it gets. It was like, big story coming today. And uh, I knew that this person who had told me this, I knew there was a big story coming. But I didn't know what it was, and uh, I was not getting any answers whatsoever. So I was like, man, you know, I couldn't even get like, is it a WWE story or is it an AEW story? So anyway, like for, you know, hours before Observer Live started, I'm just trying to figure out, like, does anyone have any idea about any of this? And actually, early in the morning... I I heard about Steve Austin doing WrestleMania, but it you know nothing was official. And then you know I went and I said, "Is this the story?" And they were like, "No." So I was like, "God, what in the world is the story here today?" So uh, literally at exactly noon yesterday, I got a message from I have no idea who. It was just phone number, and it just said Cody's gone from AEW. I was like, what? And I didn't want to talk about it here on the show because I didn't know who this was. I, I didn't know anything about it. So, like, for the whole show, I'm trying to figure out, like, can anyone confirm that Cody is gone from AEW? Nobody can confirm. So I was, like, you know, half half doing the show, half trying to figure out what the hell was going on. So then in the afternoon, I start to, uh, now I start getting answers from people. And uh, as yesterday afternoon, he was not 100% gone, Okay. He was 99% gone, but the pen had not been put to paper, but it was pretty much, you know, he's gone by the end of the day, was what I was told. So I was just waiting, and like, trust me, I was not the only person that knew. At this point, people in AEW were talking about it, people at Raw were talking about it, but the whole point was... You know, there's nothing, there's no news yet because it's wrestling. And he very easily could have, you know, at five o'clock last night, gotten an offer from AEW, signed the deal, and we got no story. So I was just waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting. And, you know, Dave and I mentioned it a little bit last night in, in rather vague terms because, again, last night there was nothing that was done. And then, of course, I went to bed this morning. My phone's like this with cameos. And uh, also the news that Cody Rhodes is is gone from AEW. So here's the deal. Cody is obviously one of the founders. And uh, they had been negotiating for a long time. His deal was up. And why did he leave AEW? I don't know why he left. But this guy's not an idiot at all. And I don't know if you guys have been watching much WWE. I don't know if you have. Well, I know a lot of people on the chat here, they don't... Uh, and I watch a lot of, of WWE, but the Royal Rumble, we had a, a big match. It was Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Remember this match? Everybody was so excited for this match. Why? Because this was one of the only dream matches that they have left, okay? And uh, we're going to get another one at WrestleMania, uh, likely Steve Austin and Kevin Owens. And they had to bring Steve Austin out of retirement after 19 years to try to sell tickets for WrestleMania, which at this point, they've sold about 47,000 tickets both nights. 
I said the show was going to do about 55,000 both nights. And uh, as it turns out, the thing ain't even near 55,000 tickets right now. So now they're calling Stone Cold Steve Austin out of retirement after 19 years to try to get some people into these buildings. Because you got a two-night WrestleMania in a giant building. That's another story. Cody. All I've seen today is people going, two months he's going to be Stardust again. Let me tell you something. Bros. The only way this guy's Stardust again is if he wants to be Stardust and he strongly pushes to be Stardust and they agree to do what he wants. But let me tell you something about this this Cody Rhodes deal. All I heard today... A lot of people, a lot of people in AEW, I mean, shocked that Cody is gone. Um, and uh, they were like, dude, he had everything here. You know, he was an EVP, he had a job for himself and his wife. They were founders, could have a job for the rest of his life. You know, he's still going to run the Nightmare Factory, by the way. But, uh, you know, he's always going to be a, a push talent in AEW. Why would he leave? And, you know, those stories that we'd heard for, uh, you know, way back about, oh, the EVPs aren't even talking, that sort of thing. Well, uh, I can tell you that uh, the EVPs were getting along great for, like, the last year. There was no issue with, like, Cody and the Bucks and Kenny. They were getting along better, I think, than they probably ever had. It was the impression that I was given. So why would he leave? Well... I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but everybody's going one way. All these guys debuting at AEW, they're all guys that were in WWE. It's all one way. Nobody is going the other way. This company grossed a billion dollars, okay? Do you know how much money? I don't know how much money Cody's making if he goes to WWE. But, bro, we're talking... I think easy, three and a half, four million a year. They may even be giving this guy five million dollars a year. Five million dollars a year for Cody Rhodes is a bargain for WWE finally getting somebody to go from one place to the other and not somebody like, you know, no disrespect to Swole, but, you know, Swole's gone. I mean, this is an EVP founder of the company the wwe can bring over that they can quote raid and they're gonna pay out the ass for cody and it will be a bargain to get an evp from and you know what you don't do with a guy that you're paying like four or five million you don't put him in the stardust costume and bury him now down the road down the road okay Two, three, four years down the road, five years down the road or whatever. Do I think that at some point, if Vince is still around, he's going to want to in some way, you know, uh, maybe. But, bro, he ain't paying four or five million dollars to bury this guy. This guy is going to be a top star. He's going to be a push star. He's going to be in big matches with the biggest guys. He ain't going to be losing. And if you think that uh, he can't make it there. And we can talk about that after the break. And get Mike's thoughts as well. Back in a moment, Observer Live. One last thing, then we'll go to Mike here. So, uh, a lot of people, I just see it. Yep. Yeah. He ain't going to make it. They're going to bury him. Listen, first off, I don't even know if he's going to WWE, but I'm pretty confident he's going to end up in WWE. And as far as, like, you know, will Cody make it or not? Oh, well, look at how he's used the last time. Oh, yeah, he's making huge money, I'm sure, as Stardust compared to what he's going to make as Cody Rhodes, former AEW founder, coming into WWE. But you guys remember when uh, when Cody left WWE and he went to work uh, the indies and et cetera, et cetera, and all we heard was he ain't ever going to make it. He's never going to make it. Well, he made it. Not only did he make it, but he made it big, and he made it all the way to the very top creating the first legitimate competition for WWE since and he wasn't the only one obviously but he was a he was a key part of it but uh the fact of the matter is like if you think that uh you know this guy can't make it in WWE if you think that uh you know it's ex- that this is the exact same thing it's the exact same thing that people said when he left WWE so we'll wait and see i mean 
No one, no one predicted Cody going to WWE in the prediction contest this year. He didn't make the Royal Rumble, though. I want to throw that in there. But I think that he might be making another very big WWE show coming up soon. But we shall see. What are your thoughts on this, Mike? Could he be the Texan that Kevin Owens no. is talking about? We just talked about that earlier. It's Steve Austin. I know. I Texan? Know. Still amazes me. Well, maybe he'll just completely, like, you know, maybe he can be Dusty Dust. Remember when Gold Dust did that? Oh, he could be Dusty please. Dust. Forget about Stardust. That's what he could be. And he could face off against Kevin Owens for the, the pride of the state of Texas, even though he's from the state of Georgia, I believe it is, uh, his entire life. But hey, if this money is enough where you are now, I would assume severing a relationship with Turner. The Roads to the Top show was an AEW show, not a TNT show. There is the Go Big show, so you do have that. But he's not stupid that way. He obviously has been wanting and has always been very aware of his surroundings and trying to build something outside of wrestling. So is a move to WWE beneficial to him because he'll have the ability to have his show on Peacock? Is that because that to me has got to be playing into this. I don't believe that Cody Rhodes looks at anything as just pro wrestling. How does it benefit Cody Rhodes? How does it benefit Brandy? How does it benefit generations of his family? I honestly think he I, I think he looks at the wrestling business a lot like that as opposed to what match can I have at what certain place? So if he's going to WWE, okay, if he's not, and I guess there's the possibility that he's not, then I guess, then what? Does he become, is this a ring of honor? Does he decide to play the field because he feels so confident in his ability to do things away from wrestling that he doesn't feel the need to be tied down? Or he feels that it's too much trouble and not worth the headache? People have reported in the past and have, I shouldn't say reported, certainly have presented in the past on podcasts and different situations that Cody has had a rough relationship sometimes and has been sandpapery with the rest of AEW management. So I, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but if he's going back to WWE, to me, it's got to be somehow beneficial to him as far as doing other projects related to but not directly associated with wrestling because i don't see why you would give all of that up because you're having a a headache with aew or you're not really happy with the way the fans are treating you the fans are going to treat you the same way no matter where you go you're not going to walk into wwe face off against the miz and maurice and be cheered by the entire fan base there's going to be people that are naturally going to cheer miz and maurice and boo you so i mean i I don't know what the end game actually is here, but in his mind, it's got to be beneficial to him. Dude, I'll tell you what the end game is. It's patently obvious. Cash, this guy, This guy, not even cash, although cash, I'm sure, is a big part of it. But uh, this guy here has no shortage of belief in himself. Okay? It's true. And listen, I, would, I have not talked to Cody about this, but I would bet you dollars to donuts Mm, Cody Rhodes is looking at this situation and going, you know what? I can be maybe not the top guy, although, I mean, maybe Cody thinks he can be the top guy, but at the very least, like the guy right underneath Roman Reigns. And maybe he thinks he can be even above Roman Reigns long term. I can be Paul. They I can finally be Paul on Paul's property. have anybody. Finally, Brandy they can be making, Steph. They aren't making oh, any new God. stars. It's the oh, same God. stuff on top. He's, oh, I think, 36 years old, so mm. he's significantly younger than all their other main eventers, mm. and he probably believes I can walk in there. They're going to give me like $5 million a year or whatever. I'm going to be a, a top guy. Can I finish this? I'm going to oh. be a top guy making the most money I've ever made in my career in, you know. Listen, Cody was a big star, a huge star in AEW. Was he the top star in AEW? No. And they've got so many big names, and they've got so many guys coming up that he may well have thought, you know what? 
I can actually be a bigger star in WWE than I can ultimately be here for more money right now. And I can prove a lot of people wrong, and I can, I can do this. If you don't think this guy's confident and could have thought something like that, I mean, just look at his career. That's the entire story of his career when he left WWE. It was dreaming big, and there isn't one fan that thought that he would achieve a level, that he didn't achieve a significantly higher level than that. Nobody thought he was going to leave and, and create, essentially help create a, a, a second major national... Nobody thought that. Not one single person thought he was going to do that, and he did it. So, I mean, I'm not saying that he will do that, but if you don't think that that's his mindset, think again. Hey, he has played everything right so far from the time that he was released and he had... You know, the picture of his hand there with the pen and the list of people he he was going to face and the little ashtray there and everything. And, you know, his side ventures with those cigars that he's played into and obviously latching on. Some people say joining up with others would say the Young Bucks, what they did with Ring of Honor, Kenny Omega, all that sort of stuff into New Japan. Got to punch open those doors, got his wife involved in the business, got her to be a regular fixture of things then they start that company he's into that gets his side pride he loves to workshop things loves to workshop his pro wrestling obviously that comes from the fact that he wants to be an actor he's tied in with different things he gets to do all of that sort of stuff and now i guess he's going to pay off for all that sort of stuff and really cash out from wwe but again i it is very difficult for me to believe that there's not going to be some sort of benefit that has got nothing to do with pro wrestling, and it's going to be interesting for me to see what that is if he goes to WWE. But with that said, I may have made a joke about it right there, but that whole thing about coming back after the, all that nonsense with the the throne and the sledgehammer and all of the parallels and things that people have pointed out and drawn lines between those two families and those two couples for him to go back to WWE. I'll say this. Cody Rhodes, he's got cojones, and his wife has got him, too. He's got an incredibly thick skin, and I love his hustle, and I'll give him that because he's going to go in there, and there's going to be people. They're booing him now. There's going to be people relentlessly on Cody, whether they just be WWE fans or people that just love to maybe. ride him now. It's going to be, hey, and who knows? There be, Maybe people lose their minds for him, but I got I, I to gotta give it to him. He does. If they're going back there, he's got a set for sure well hey listen i don't know what they're gonna do but you know what i do know because i deal with them every day there's a lot of wwe diehards there's a lot of stand up for wwe blokes out there and you know what somebody walking out of the enemy to come and grace them with his presence they may go nuts for this guy they may see him as the greatest folk hero ever, that he he walked out of AEW oh. and came home. The Ballad of Cody Rhodes. Yes. But I got a question for you. Don't think that can't happen, everybody. Got a question for you, though. There is money to be made as we go into WrestleMania weekend. Is this, I made a joke on Twitter, is this Rhodes to the showboat? Is this Rhodes to the collective? Is this Rhodes to WrestleMania weekend where Cody Rhodes is here, there, and everywhere cashing in on the fact that he is Cody Rhodes before he goes back to WWE? I mean, he can do whatever he wants, dude. Would you? I mean... If you had that option, would you? How would you look at that? Are you afraid of getting injured? Do you want to take the big thing? Do you Get think injured. WWE just says? I don't do well, any no, matches seriously. at all. What are you talking about? I don't know what his physical state is. Facing Effie and Jeff Jarrett in a three-way? So anyway, that's the Cody Rhodes story. Okay. Everyone. Now, there was an incident last week where I lost my mind and uh, attempted some gory self-mutilation. Trini, stop that! No! I don't believe my own eyes anymore. What I, what, I, what I think I see, they're telling me I didn't see, all right? <laughs> but that's what happened. Okay, so seven days ago, seven days ago, he shaved his own head. He goes back here. I swear to God, his hair's back again. <laughs> well, like, nothing happened. I'm trying to hang on. I'm trying desperately to grip on reality. And every time I, every time I think I'm there, every time I think I'm safe and stable, Duke Hudson's hair changes again. His motivation changes again. Something about Dante Chen. 
If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.